8-Bit Dylan. Time for the intro to my videos. Just make weird noises with your mouth. Welcome to the very first episode of YouTuber Big Brother Heroes versus Villains. Here is the entire cast. Look at them just sitting, getting ready to venture out throughout the entire house and see what there is to see. We have our entire wall of photos for this season. And as everyone gets eliminated one by one, we will black and white out each of their photos. And in the end, only one of them can win. Now, the twist for this season is we are split up in two different sides, the red click side and the blue click side. Let's introduce the different sides of the house. The two villains on the red side, we have Keemstar, Killer Keemstar, the drama YouTuber, and Casey Tron, the crazy troll that is on Twitch. She's hilarious. Definitely check out all of their channels in the description down below. I'll have a link to every single one of them. We also have Life Simmer, the Sim YouTuber herself. We have Sky Does Minecraft, one of the biggest Minecraft YouTubers out there on YouTube. We have Lauren Z Side, a lovable, adorable personality on YouTube. We have Mousy Mouse, whose aesthetic is amazing. I just want to point that out. She's got an amazing aesthetic. And Stampy Long Nose or Stampy Longhead, whatever you want to call him, but Stampy the Minecraft YouTuber. Ooh, that voice crack though. For the blue side, we have Rice Gum, the drama YouTuber himself. We have Zombie Unicorn. She uh, has been known to get in trouble on Twitter here and there, but she is a lovable, awesome friend of mine. Can't wait to see her play in the house. We have Dan the Diamond Minecart. Yes, that blue hair, it is amazing with this adorable, adorable accent. We have Nick Dominates, as you guys, some of you guys might know. He might be a fan favorite this season. There's a lot of people that seem to really like him. He is a sassy LGBT gaming YouTuber and he is not family friendly. So do not watch him unless you are of age. We have Kaleido, the adorable Australian Minecraft YouTuber. Dodger, the amazing YouTuber and live streamer. You might know her on Twitch as Dexterity Bonus or on YouTube as Press Heart to Continue. And lastly, Sky Williams, the hilarious League of Legends live streamer and YouTuber. I'm so excited to have him in the house. So these are the 14 YouTubers for this season. Let me know in the comments down below who you're gonna be rooting for. I'm gonna let them loose in this house and we're gonna see what happens. They're gonna have an entire day to themselves to get to know each other. And then we're gonna go into the head of household competition in the morning. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna set their gameplay autonomy. For those that don't know, this is how you get the Sims to do what you want them to do. So I'm going to turn on their autonomy and let them loose. Let's see what happens. <laughs> and Stampy immediately switches sides of the couch. He's like, well, I wish I was on the blue side. Now, if you have not seen the speed build for the Big Brother house this season, it is split into two sides, but they can use either side that they wish. Now, because... Ooh, wait, this reminds me. I have to make sure that they cannot access these rooms yet. I don't want them to experience any of the luxury of having an actual comfortable bed. So the HOH room will be closed off for everyone. The other bedrooms will be closed off. And for this first night, they're going to have to sleep on couches and on cots. Everyone seems to be running around checking everything out. So let me explain this heroes versus villains twist for those that don't understand what might be happening. So the house is split into two sides, the red side and the blue side. And each and every single week that the click twist is in the game, they will compete against each other as if they are on two separate tribes, kind of like in Survivor. Ooh, we got people already playing darts, playing basketball, enjoying themselves. 
Oh my god, the basketball just fell off the, the roof. Anyway, we're gonna have these people all against each other. So one side of the house will win the HOH, and the other side of the house will be picked apart by the winning team. And I will get more into that once we get into the nomination ceremony and the veto ceremony in future episodes. Oh my god, Stampy is already talking to Skelly Bear. Yes, guys, Skelly Bear is back for another season. Are we gonna see another romance happen between Stampy Longhead and <laughs> Skelly Bear? Oh, and we are already seeing some evil things come about from the villains. So Lauren has a good trait and she's not gonna get along with some of the villains. Some of the villains that have evil traits are like Rice Gum, Keemstar. I think Zombie might have an evil trait. I'm not positive. They uh, have a wide variety of different traits that I gave them based off their personalities online and to kind of give some diversity and variety in the house. And it seems like everyone is in love with this basketball hoop. Throughout the season, you might see a few changes here and there. Oh, wow, that ball's on fire. Oh. Also, their skills, just like in all the past reality show series, are randomly assigned and randomly handed out. So, Rice Gum got really lucky, and he has a 10 in fitness. All 10 of his skill points went into fitness. So he is going to be a competition beast when it comes to physical challenges. And everyone and their mother is all about these books. Oh, Dan. Dan's also talking to Skelly Bear. Skelly Bear, are you gonna get out some action this season? He is talking to Skelly Bear. Oh, they're like friends now. Also, for those that don't realize, we are in the City Living Expansion Pack and we are on a penthouse in San Myshuno. San Myshuno is the brand new neighborhood in the City Living Expansion Pack and I just had to put it here. Let's see what everyone else is up to. Dodger and Life Simmer are having a little bit of girl talk out here in the living room. So in order for these Sims to get far into this competition, they're not only gonna have to make friends with the people that are inside of their own clique, but it's even more important to make friends with the people that are on the enemy team. Because the people on the enemy team are the ones that are gonna be deciding your fate. And Life Simmer is already making good work. For those that don't remember, Life Simmer's on the red team, and Nick dominates and Dodger are on the blue team, so maybe we'll see a friendship between these three develop. No one has really utilized the right side of the house. Everyone's just hanging out on the red side. The blue side's got some cool stuff too. Wow, everyone is about these basketball hoops. Is this gonna be like the water slide where the new object that's added to The Sims everyone just overuses? Oh, oh, there's cops. All about that city living. We'll see if this basketball hoop stays for the entire season. At least they're using the outside areas unlike in the last season of Big Brother where they didn't really utilize them except for the water slide. Oh, this is interesting. Lauren and Keemstar are talking with each other. Keemstar has the evil trait. Also, he's evil for those socks and sandals. But Lauren has a good trait, and they are getting along right now. Lauren, don't move over to the dark side. Don't do it. So for this season, when it comes to the have-nots, things are going to play out a little bit differently than you might think. The losing team, whichever side is not on the head of household side, will have to suffer. They will have no access to the kitchen, they will have no access to bedrooms, and they'll have no access to showers. So the only way that they'll be able to clean themselves is by brushing their teeth and washing their hands. The only way they'll get food is back here behind the stairs. We'll have a cooler and, oh, I need to add some microwaves for them. Actually, let's do that right now. And that's all they're gonna get. Now remember guys, if you've never seen any of my past reality show series, this is a series where I don't tell The Sims what to do. They get to decide themselves what sorts of actions they want to do, the alliances they want to make. All of the voting in this series is done based off their relationships and past actions they do to one another. So say right now, Life Simmer is really good friends with Zombie Unicorn and Life Simmer is HOH. Life Simmer would less likely nominate Zombie Unicorn over some of the other people who might be in the house and so forth. So it's up to the Sims themselves to make the best relationships they can so that way they don't get voted out. And by the end of today's episode, we're gonna know who the new head of household is, which side of the house is winning for this week, and who the two nominees are. Oh my gosh, as everyone has to go use the restroom, they're gonna have to walk all the way down here. This house is so much bigger than the last Big Brother house. There's also a lot of empty space, so let me know if you have any suggestions on how we can fill this place out. Oh, you can hear the sounds of the city. I love it. 
It's so cool. It's so different. And the reason that this house has no windows in it is because I wanted it to have sort of that studio feeling. I know there's balconies, which kind of defeat the purpose of that, but I really wanted to go for that studio feel. Also, what is going on here? Why is there no railing here? That is not safe. Now I've learned from experience in past reality show series, not to assume how the alliances are gonna play out because you never know in these type of series. One minute people can be friends, the next minute they are backstabbing each other yeah. like it's nothing. Ooh, and it just lit up. I love this, oh my gosh. For those that don't know, this entire middle section is actually carved out of the house and it's a, basically a giant sunroof. Now if only The Sims 4 could have like weather added to it, that would be pretty cool. So maybe we could get some rain or snow and that would be so awesome. I tried my best to get some of these sims to look like the YouTubers themselves, but it was very, very difficult. I tried y'all, I tried. So we have Dodger, we've got Mousy Mouse, Zombie Unicorn and Stampy Longhead all talking with each other down in the dining room away from the rest of the cast. Ooh, and this makes me think, I wonder if there's gonna be any shipping this season. I know the flirtiest person is probably gonna be Sky Williams because I gave him the romantic trait, because let's be real, Sky Williams flirts with everyone on Twitter. I know you, Sky. You be looking for them manly bears. Also, props to diversity. This is the most diverse cast that we've had since we've started. Oh God, Sky's already putting on the moves on Adam. He found himself a bear. Oh God, it starts. It starts. But Nick Dominates is coming in to just like cock block. <gasps> Nick, don't. He's trying to flirt with Adam. Oh, wow. Wow, Nick. Nick, he's into big manly bears. Oh, we've already got people utilizing their beds. Now, I don't care what side they sleep on. It's whatever. I just kind of put this out here for aesthetic purposes so they can sleep in whichever side. And already I can tell that this is going to be a messy house by the end of the season. I find it funny that we have a kitchen that they can eat in, but everyone's being so lazy that they just want to use the cooler and the microwave. I might have to end up putting a door right here and making it where only the have-nots can use this. Otherwise, I have a sneaking suspicion that the HOH winning team is still gonna utilize the cooler and the microwave. And before we sign off for this first night, I'm gonna let you guys know if you wanna submit any sort of fan art for this season, we are gonna be still using the hashtag YTBB. So make sure to submit all of your artwork on Instagram or on Twitter via that hashtag YTBB. All right, I think I'm gonna let these guys all go to bed for the night, and in the morning, I'm gonna set up for the first head of household competition. People are starting to get up in the morning. We've got Dexterity Bonus, Miss Dodger, and Mousy Mouse cooking some breakfast. Wait, what are you doing? Mousy, pick that up. Ew, that's gross. Ew. Finish cooking that. I'm not gonna tell her to, but okay. She was hungry, but apparently talking to Dodger is way more important than cooking breakfast. Ew. Nick, put on some clothes, you nasty. This ain't Instagram. I see you, Nick. I see you, girl. Oh, he's gonna steal it. He's gonna cook it himself. So not even like 20 minutes into this playthrough, I'm gonna have to get rid of this basketball hoop because it's actually causing them some issues with some of their everyday actions. So we're gonna sell it for now. Might bring it back later, we'll see. But it's actually causing them to drop a lot of their actions when it comes to just like necessity things like using the restroom, taking like a shower. They will prepare to do that action and then they'll stop doing it and then they'll instead go shoot some hoops, which I don't want them to do. So I think the basketball hoops might be a little bit glitched. So yeah. That's, that's what we're gonna do. Oh my God, what happened to you? Oh, yeah, clean up girl, ew. All right, I'm gonna let them shower, do their thing, and then let's get this thing started. Hello everyone and welcome to the very first head of household competition for YouTuber Big Brother Heroes vs. Villains. As you can see, our challenge room has been decked out in some elegant, beautiful artworks done from artists from all across the world. It'll be up to our contestants to be inspired by these artworks to create something of their own and hopefully make something worth a pretty penny. The side of the house that ends up raising the most money from their paintings as a total team 
will win head of household. And the specific sim that raises the most money for the winning team will be the actual head of household on that winning team. So not only will they have to do well, they'll have to rely on their teammates to do great as well. So over here we have the red click with Mousy Mouse, Casey Tron, Life Simmer, Sky Does Minecraft, Stampy Longhead, Lauren Z Side, and Keemstar. Meanwhile on the blue side we've got Dodger, Nick Dominates, Rice Gum, Dan the Diamond Minecart, Sky Williams, Zombie Unicorn, and Kaleido. It's time to find out which side can bring out their artistic talents to make the most elegant painting that they can. Okay, everyone's work orders are set. They will begin painting. Let's begin in three, two, one, go. I see so many of them have no originality and they're all stealing each other's ideas and designs. This is pretty funny. But it all comes down to how much they can earn from their paintings, not how well they look. Yas, it looks so good. Slay. That is a creepy bunny though. That is like a super creepy bunny. I would not want to see that thing like outside my window or outside my bedroom or anything of that variety. What is this dark painting? Wait, I think this one Mousy's got. Oh, Mousy finished. <gasps> That's actually really cute. <gasps> I like that. I would like totally have that in my room. So we got a water painting over here from Stampy. The same water painting that Kaleido and Dodger are painting, jeez. They all seem to be having a good time with it though, which is great. Everyone's almost finished, and then we can get the results and see who made the most money. Add those finishing touches, Dan. And you too, Nick. Jeez, Nick, you're taking forever. You too, Sky Does Minecraft. Come on, Adam. It smells your fear. It knows when you're asleep. It preys upon you at night. All right, that's enough creepiness. Everyone's finished their paintings. Let's see how well they did. So we are gonna start over here on the red side, and I'm gonna start with Mousy Mouse, and then we'll move down the line and keep a constant total of how much money they earn as a team. All right, Mousy Mouse was able to earn a total of $77 from her painting. Casey Tron's painting is worth $83. Okay. Life Simmer's painting was worth $77 as well. So far, that's a total of $237. Let's see how Adam did. Adam's painting is worth $75. So far, he did the worst on his team. Can Keemstar bring it back up? Let's see. Keemstar's is worth, ooh, $75 as well. Not too good. So far, their total's at $387. Next up is Lauren, and her painting is worth $77 as well. So far, Casey Tron is still in the lead on her tribe. And lastly, we have Stampy Longhead. Stampy's painting is worth $78, which means that the red click was able to raise a total of $542 with all of their paintings with Casey Tron being the highest earning artist on her team, which does mean if the red click wins, Casey Tron will be our very first head of household. But it's time to see if the blue click was able to beat the red click. They have to beat a total of $542. Let's start off with Dodger. And Dodger's painting is worth $72, not good at all. Not off to a great start. Can Nick Dominates bring it back up? Nick, your painting is worth $75. Next up is Rice Gum. Rice Gum, your painting is worth $73. Ooh, this is not looking good for the blue click. We're gonna need to see some big numbers from these last four people on the blue click. Dan, your painting is worth $89. That's what I'm talking about. So far, Dan is in the lead on the blue click side for the head of household position. Next up is Kaleidos. Kaleidos painting is worth $88. Oh, here come those big numbers that I was talking about. So far, the blue click has a total of $397. The number that they needed to beat was 542, and we still have two more paintings that we need to look at. Zombie Unicorn, your painting is worth $83. It all comes down to Sky Williams' painting. Can he get their total above $542? And Sky Williams' painting is worth 
$79, which means that the blue click was able to raise $559. Congratulations to the blue click. You are the brand new head of household click for the house, which does mean that Dan the Diamond Minecart, because you were able to raise $89 with your painting, you are the brand new official head of household for this week. And Dan is gonna have the tough task of nominating two people from the losing side of the house, which sadly does mean two people from the red click side will be nominated for eviction. I'm gonna let them talk amongst themselves and strategize, then we're gonna do the nomination ceremony and find out who Dan the Diamond Minecart wants to nominate for eviction. Now, for the HOH room, everything's been blueified for Dan. This is Dan's new bedroom. Everyone has access to the HOH room, but the only people that can use his restroom are people of the winning click. And we have Tina, the talking toilet over here. So I hope we get to see some funny interactions with Dan and the toilet. We'll see. Ooh, Dan's talking to Skelly Bear. Is Skelly Bear cheating on Parker right now? I think Skelly Bear's cheating on Parker. I think this is happening, guys. I see you, Dan. I see oh, he's like all about that bear right now. It sucks for Casey Tron because she was so close to becoming the brand new head of household, but sadly, the blue click was just too good at painting. Now I'm wondering where Dan's head lies. Will he, oh, he is just all about Skelly Bear right now. I don't think he's even giving people an opportunity to talk to him because they're just, he's just so focused on Skelly Bear. Look at, look at the toilet. Do you see the toilet? Look at. Oh, he's talking to Tina. He saw Tina. Tina was throwing shade, was she? He came in and was immediately scared of her, Tina. Be nice. Now when we are giving different skills to all the different YouTubers, Kaleido for some reason is just really fit and has a really high wellness. So you rock, Kaleido, yes. Oh my gosh, all that weight she is picking up right now. Meanwhile, there is still a party going on down here in the bathroom with people like Casey Tron, oh, or not Casey Tron. Nick Dominates, Life Simmer, and Mousy Mouse. It seems like Life Simmer and Nick Dominates have been hanging out a lot recently. Now, I don't want to assume they're in an alliance or if they're partnering up or anything of that variety, but it seems that it's most likely going to happen. So maybe we'll see our first true alliance right here. Life Simmer, X, Nick Dominates. And yet again, Dan is all about that Skelly Bear life. Dan. You need to make friends in this house. I fear for the enemy team when Skelly Bear is gonna have the highest relationship with Dan and Dan's gonna have the highest relationship with Skelly Bear. Anyway, back to what I was saying, I think it's about time for the nomination ceremony. So I'm gonna get everyone downstairs and we are going to learn who the two people are that Dan the Diamond Minecart feels like should be evicted from this house. It's now time for the very first nomination ceremony. Now, Dan, as the head of household for this week, you must nominate two people from the losing side of the house. So the people that could possibly be up for nomination are Keemstar, Casey Tron, Life Simmer, Sky Does Minecraft, Lauren Z Side, Mousy Mouse, and Stampy Longhead. Two of them will be nominated right now. Oh my gosh, he stood up right when I said that. All right, so it's time for you to stand right here. Let's get you in position. So Dan, who is the very first nominee for this week? Oh, and the very first nominee is Mousy Mouse. I'm so sorry, Mousy Mouse. You haven't developed your relationship enough with Dan. Dan, who is the second nominee that'll be sitting next to Mousy Mouse for this week? Oh, and it's Stampy Longhead. So we have our two nominees for this week, Mousy Mouse, Stampy Longhead. So those are the two nominees. It's because you have not developed your relationship well enough with Dan. You'll need to make better friends with the other side of the house because for this season of YouTuber Big Brother Heroes vs. Villains, the winning team has all of the power. So Mousy Mouse and Stampy's life is literally in the blue click's hands. The only people that'll be voting in the voting ceremony are people like Sky Williams, Dodger, Kaleido, Nick Dominates, Zombie Unicorn, and Rice Gum. The only way that Mousy Mouse and Stampy can save themselves is if they win 
the veto competition, which will be on Friday. And so with that, I'll see you guys on Friday with a brand new episode of YouTuber Big Brother Heroes vs. Villains. Reminder, if you want to submit any of your artwork to the show, make sure to do it under the hashtag YTBB. I hope to see you guys on Friday, and until then, stay awesome, stay beautiful, you lovely people. Bye-bye.